So, the spoilers are out for My Hero Academia Manga, chapter 357, and boy, oh boy, are these very interesting spoilers, because there are heavy implications for what All for One is planning in the story moving forward, and potentially what All for One's fate is at the end of this battle that he is having with Endeavor. And you'll see a little bit more of what I mean right after this. <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? It is your boy, Manga Mandrew, and I'm here to cover the spoilers for My Hero Academia Manga Chapter 357. And from what we see with the spoilers so far for this week, this is going to be a very impactful chapter of My Hero Academia, for it's going to most likely be a changing point for the heroes and their potential victory in this war with some potential things that we really didn't see coming. So let's dive right into the spoilers and talk about what is going to potentially be happening in the upcoming chapter. So the chapter apparently begins with All For One protecting himself from Endeavor's attack with a force field. And All For One says that that was a close one. And even though he had already seen it coming, he can't help but remember his first fight against All Might. He says that a wounded hero is the scariest thing there is, and we see a full page showing an enraged Endeavor concentrating fire where his right arm should be. He then moves around and appears right in front of All For One. He is confused by this sudden speed, which was courtesy of Hawks. He sent in some feathers to propel Endeavor as they did in the fight against High End. Endeavor then forms a huge fist and hits All For One with vanishing Chet Burn. So from what we're seeing with the first part of these tech spoilers, we're seeing that the fight between All For One and Endeavor is still going on and that even though Endeavor has lost his arm, he's still blowing All For One towards the ground and trying to do heavy damage to him. And from what we see with the next part of the tech spoilers, All For One is thrown to the ground and the heroes below are confused by the impact of the fire because the plan said Endeavor would deal with him in the air. Hawks asks why he didn't use Prominence Burn, and Endeavor says that All For One has focused on defense by activating the force field, and Prominence Burn is too valuable a resource to be used in such a risky way. Hawks is surprised of Endeavor's reasoning and says that he's cooled off, but Inji says that he's mad as ever. Kamui Wood sees that it is All For One that is down there and immediately grabs the other heroes so that they can escape. They are outraged because they thought it was their chance to team up to finish him off, but it is at this point that Endeavor comes down with another attack. Kamui says that they need to make room for him, and Endeavor manages to break the force field. So this is very cool. We're getting to see that Kamui Woods is going to be obviously in this battle, and that he's going to kind of reenact what Best Genus did and rescue these heroes before Endeavor is able to potentially on accident kill them. And from what we see with the next part of the text spoilers, Endeavor is going hard on All For One because we see that Endeavor begins dragging All For One along the ground for a long distance. All For One says that he can't move properly without the mask and tries to touch Endeavor to steal his quirk, but he shoots fire out of his eyes before All For One can make contact. He says that these hands only exist to destroy the future of others. All For One tries to retort saying that Endeavor's hands do the exact same thing and he agrees. Endeavor's narration then begins with him saying that the past cannot be erased. All the anger, resentment, and punishment will accompany him into his future, a future that must be crossed by the next generation. He must win the battle to ensure that the young ones will be able to continue the path they want and not repeat the mistakes of the adults. This is when we see a panel showing some of the grown-up students, and then Endeavor says that he accepts to continue being punished as long as he gets out alive, because after winning this fight, he will need to take care of Toya. The narration closes with Endeavor saying that he will continue to hate himself while using Prominence Burn at full power. So there's a lot of things to really address in this one part of the paragraph. For once, it's more confirmation that the weakness that Endeavor has is that he views himself as weak and that he hates his own weakness, which is tied into this chapter. Potentially what else is tied into this chapter is that Endeavor is still going to be pushing for his own punishment, that he's not looking for forgiveness, but he's still looking for atonement. We get to see that potentially Endeavor is now able to brush off all for ones like 
bluster as well as distraction tactics because he fell for it once and he's not going to fall for it again probably the best part about this is that we're potentially getting foreshadowing or potentially getting to see future glimpses of the students when they are adults now does this confirm that we're actually going to see them as adults at the end of the story not necessarily but most likely than not this is hirakoshi seeding in the ideas of what these students are going to look like at the end of the series most likely so it's interesting that most likely than not, we're going to be able to see that in this chapter, but now we're getting towards the end of this potential chapter and the end of the tech spoilers. Because we get this line of after the attack, all for one seems to have reduced to ashes. Endeavor confirms that he had no regeneration whatsoever. And even if he is hiding one, his body is not as resistant as Shigaraki's was in the previous war. One attack like that was more than enough. He's dead. That's what Endeavor thinks, but Hawks yells at him to get away from the body. And so that's very interesting because they're alluding to the idea that Endeavor killed all for one. But from what we're seeing with the next part of the tech spoilers and a few images that we have, that may not necessarily be the case. Because what all for one does is that he begins to talk again, asking if the heroes really thought that he had gone into this war without setting up any schemes. The body is already disposable, so he wanted to use it to test something that would work. At this moment, we see Airy in a panel full of capsules that resemble the anti-quirk bullet. It's just symbolism, she's fine, still at UA. And as this happens, we have the line that reads, Putting your own body at risk is what you guys do, isn't it? As Awful One asks this, an eye and an ear begins to grow from the charred body of All For One. The narration from the beginning of the chapter continues, but villains are also even scarier when they are injured. So this is very interesting because the implication is that Endeavor tried to kill All For One and that All For One is potentially dead, but that he has this some form of mechanism related to Airy that is going to recover him to a certain extent, or it's going to do something with his body that is actually indicating that All For One is actually not dead. So that is something very interesting, and it shows that potentially the quirky racing bullets are going to be coming back into play in the story at this moment, but even more interesting is what's going to be coming up at the end with the final part of the text spoilers, which read that the focus shifts to the ocean. Yoichi, the first one for all user, senses something strange and alerts Deku. However, at that same moment, he realizes that multiple somethings or someones are coming towards him. End of chapter. So this is very interesting because it shows that the fight between Endeavor and All For One are for the most part over, but that something that All For One did is going to affect Deku and his way to fight Shigaraki. Now, does this mean that All For One is completely out of the fight as of right now? No. But is it very possible that he did set something up in the case that he is defeated? Most likely, yes. So from what we've seen with the spoilers, this is going to be a very interesting and impactful chapter for My Hero Academia. And I can't wait to do a more proper review of it because I have so many thoughts that I want to get out there that I can't necessarily do in this spoiler video. So yeah, this is all I have to say about the spoilers for right now. So let me ask you, what did you think of the spoilers? Did you like them? Do you dislike them? Do you think that this is going to be an amazing chapter? Leave your thoughts down in the comments down below, leave a like on the video if you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more My Hero Academia content. Do all that cool jazz, and hopefully I'll be able to catch you in my next video. Goodbye!